Hi there, welcome back to Not Another Budget. I'm Nicole and on this channel I'm attempting to cash budget my way out of debt and fix several years of financial misbehaviour. So if that's something you're interested in following along with, please don't forget to stick around and check out the other content I've created for you on this channel. Now I'm back with another video from my batch recorded video day. Uh, you will have seen by now, hopefully, my happy mail haul from Abundant Budgets. Please go check that out and also check out her channel as well. And I did mention in that video that you may see the coffee reduce and get colder. It has done but I'm going to drink it anyway because I forgot to bring some water up. Now it is Thursday the 4th of April and I am filming my weekly catch up and I know my weekly <laughs> my week one budget for April doesn't end until the 8th of April however it has been a hefty financial pun me six days and actually I need to a do the physical check in um both for myself and with you guys as well because I don't know once teaching resumes after the holidays if I will be able to regularly get a weekly update video out but I think because it's been a very abnormal 6 days financially um that actually it's good to do that check in and just bring you guys up to speed and it's also good as well for me to go and make a decision and go okay am I going to um calendar wise I'll keep the dates going until the 8th of April because that's how I've plotted it out but in terms of a financial week wise am I going to draw a line under it and say right we're done um yes and it's also a good chance as well for me to check in against where I am with my weekly planner because the best laid plans of mice and men meant that I've had to do things slightly differently it has had a little bit of an impact on my budget things have happened which have had an impact on my budget and also what I've not taken into account is the human behavior aspect of knowing that you've got a lot of money coming in and when you're a spendy person the excitement of that um, can sometimes run away with you um and then add in other things as well. So I am going to hope that you can see all of this. If not, there's going to be a little bit of camera shake and I can hopefully zoom you in. Can I zoom in? Okay, fantastic. So we are still in week one and my week one officially started on Thursday the 28th of March. My initial intention was to have a clear out over the Easter weekend. So I hope, first of all, you all had a wonderful Easter. Um, but secondly, I was meant to clear out and get a load of stuff listed on eBay and Vinted on the Saturday the 30th and Sunday the 31st. I didn't. I went straight into organising the house instead and getting that sorted and working out what I needed if I needed certain things to get that goal done and completed um, and if I didn't. So there's been a fair amount that has gone on. Um, I was able to complete the city visit and I did get my house tidied. I've not yet written my 1500 words for my PGCE but in playing around with that schedule I think this is going to be a, a Saturday the 6th and a Sunday the 7th job and I did have a massive clear out and organise cupboards and boxes and wardrobes and things but what I didn't get a chance to do was I obviously pulled the things out of those wardrobes and got those things sorted ready to list but I have not yet listed them. That is what today is all about for me and that is because I've had to spend the time getting the house sorted. I was on my hands and knees yesterday washing down skirting boards and doors and things so definitely a full-on proper spring clean um, but things obviously happen so let me take you over to the budget so I got the bursary in of £2,000 as planned um, and I then had to pull £14 from my business and you'll see why in a little bit later so today and I'm capping this here um, because I've got nothing else that's pending to clear in this week. Um, today, my income for this period is £2,014. And let me take you through my bills, because here's when things start to happen. £27 for internet and £28 for mobile, all on budget. Um, I round up to give myself a little bit of a buffer, but it's £15.75 for my car tax. And now we come to car insurance, where I had to make a claim for a replacement windscreen because I was driving and... Um, very normal, um, living in a rural area, stone bounced off another car, hit the window, windscreen and a massive crack just appeared. Not even tiny chip. So I had to pay the excess for that. And as it is not the first time I've had to claim for a windscreen on this policy, <laughs> um, or certainly within the last five years, I think it is, um, it was a little bit higher. I did not get the nice cheap your first windscreen claim option. I got the, uh, oh, you've claimed with us before. It's the curse of living with a rural area. 
but it meant that my car insurance total was £141. <laughs> because they were very nice and put it on the month's bill. And I'm like, well, thank you so much, but never mind. Pet insurance was £36.82 as planned for. And then because I'd had to pay extra for the car insurance, which I wasn't intending on at the time, um, I decided to go for a monthly contents insurance payment of £9.71 rather than pay for it outright. Spotify was five ninety nine as normal, YouTube seven ninety nine as normal, and I had completely forgotten about this. As a student, I get the first six months of Amazon Prime free, and then I pay four nineteen four pound forty nine a month for the next six months, and that free period started at the end of March. So four pound forty nine, that's fine. And then my cloud storage was weirdly three pound forty nine, not three pounds. So I don't know when that went up or why and then I am rolling my water payment over to the end of the month because other things by this point had started to happen so my total bills were £280.24 so we can see where I've made the swap I've allocated the extra from the contents insurance over to the car insurance and that has balanced it out and if I paid the water bill as well that would um, be near enough spot on budget and then we get to personal um, all flexible expenses. Now, I, yeah, things happened. So this is listed in no particular order, but there was quite a significant thing which bumped up. Um, and I'm going to take you down to pet, which is this line here. Now, £155 is the cost for a month's worth of food, medication, and one medical checkup in terms of a medical medication review for my cat. Now, he has been losing weight quite significantly and he's not been gaining weight and the amount of food I've been feeding him he should be an absolute chunk of a cat and he's not and I'd also started to notice, notice that there was a little bit of muscle wastage going on around the hips and then around the shoulder blades so I'd booked in for this review and I pushed for more tests to be done because he's taking his heart medication fine we've had no reoccurrence with um, the uterine bladder crystals that he suffers from so and I'm also feeding him tons of food and he's not putting on weight. So if he'd lost all of that weight as a result of the stress of him being ill back in December, that should have gone on by now. And he's not gone up. He's not even put 100 grams on when he was weighed. So I pushed and we did a blood test. Now, my vet has a policy where if the treatment that your pet receives in store, in, in house, I guess, on the day is £250 or more, you can do a direct claim with your insurance and they'll sort it out. If it's £250 or less, you have to pay that cost up front and then sort out with the insurance on the back end. Now, the cost for that blood test, just the blood test, was £235. So I had to pay that outright. Prior to this appointment happening I'd already gone and bought him some food I'd bought him some treats I'd bought him a little cat toy because again a little bit more money so it meant that as opposed to 155 pounds he cost me 293 pound 45 and the claim that I have submitted is not yet closed um so I've not yet either had to pay I've not yet paid the excess yet for the claim because the claim like he he's not done um the blood test came back he has got hypothyroidism significantly high level of hypothyroidism which is another set of medication which i need to pay for next week potentially as well if that's that's it done and they don't need to do any more testing because he's got to go back next week for another test he doesn't need <laughs> i can then close the claim i can then um submit it as a full entire claim and and go from there so <laughs> I get very like when I get really emotional and when I get really, really stressed, I am prone to spending and knowing that I've got a large amount of money came in coming in on the 12th next week give gave me basically a false sense of security and a bit more of a false cushion. So this is where other things then happened within my budget. And by this point, I also knew that there were certain things that I'd planned for to do this week, which I wouldn't be able to do. I did pay my guarantor the £300, so that's going on up here. Petrol was £47.71 out of a £40 budgeted spend. Now, I did also budget, uh, if you can see there, £20 for next week. I don't need to do that now. The tank is full and I am staying at home. Um, household and food doubled. Um 
and I've put a little bit of household in there because there were some household things which I needed to get straight away. I did not do an online shop. I went into a shop. Um, I went in with a neighbour. It was Easter weekend. There was extra things going on and putting I was putting into the basket. I was giving myself a false sense of security and going, I'm going to stock up now and then I can do less in on the 12th, the weekend of the 12th when I've got... Um, kind of a stock up thing going on so I need to review all of that but I spent £162.80. I have significantly put food in my freezer though and I do need to, to do an awful lot of batch cooking so that will be reviewed but again next week where I think I've budgeted £30 food I won't be buying any food. I've cancelled the chiropractor because at the time it was a case of I might have to go back to the vet. So I don't know what my movements are going to be. I've got to do a last clean. So that wasn't cancelled for a financial reason. That was cancelled for a timing reason. Um, teaching budgeted was £40 and it actually came to £72.78. I had sent some emails before we broke up for Easter to my new school, basically asking what software they taught 2D design on, um, what programs they used and what programs were downloaded onto the, because it's an iPad school for the kids, um, what programs the kids were used to train for certain things, what um and everything like that and the answer they came back with was not the one that I was hoping for which was a free version of Google SketchUp um, it was a paid for software service now and this is slightly controversial as a teacher doing a practical subject and those teachers in my comments who are doing an academic subject as well in English or history it may be a book or a time period that you're not overly familiar with that you have to teach or in maths it may be a set of theories same for science um, you have to basically teach yourself what this content is to then be able to teach the kids when and the same applies for design technology or art or hair and beauty or child well-being or construction. You have to know how to do these things. But there is an added financial element onto that in that quite often the software or the tools or the processes, if you don't own them, you need to buy them. And the software that they're using is one which I don't own, that I've never used and I have no experience of using. And I need to teach the kids pretty much from day dot because they cover 2d design and technical drawing in the autumn term so i made the decision to go ahead purchase um a, a version of that software a, ba a basic version of that software so i could start training um there was an easter sale on so it made sense but it's something i kind of begrudge doing but i i'm going into a teaching role where my uh associated costs to learn some of these things um, are going to be higher than I would like and I'm sure that many other teachers in my comments would say but you shouldn't have to pay for these things um, yes I know but it is the curse of my subject in that you are expected to be a specialist um, across five different things even if you are only a specialist of one or two so yes I need to know how to teach engineering product design graphic design food and t food and nutrition and textiles at the very least and product design will also encompass metalwork um plastics polymers cardboard and woodwork so yes um so teaching was a little bit more than expected pet we've covered mobile i did really really well and i'm really pleased with this um three and this is the mobile i'm recording on so hopefully a better angle and a better view and a better quality as well 333 pound 50 also includes the cost of um expedited next day track delivery because yes um it was a site that i'd never used before and wanted to make sure the phone got to me in good condition and it also covers a very very hefty chunky like throw me off a of building and watch me survive phone and um, phone case and screen protector um, my phone of choice was a google pixel 7 which i got second hand in pristine condition and the cost of the phone itself um, was 280 then i think it was 10 pound for 280 and some change um, it was 10 pound it was £10 or it was £9 and some change for the DPD fully tracked delivery, got here the next day and then it was the screen protector and the phone case from Amazon. So I'm really, really, really pleased with that. Um, but yeah, kind of that saving gets absorbed elsewhere. And again, my emotional spending went a little bit haywire. Um, I, I was really worried about my cat and that's not an excuse. Um, 
I had a false sense of security. I had lots and lots kind of going on, trying to sort out the car and get that sorted over Easter weekend because that was like a kick in the teeth. Um, sitting there going, I'm doing really well. I'm paying all my bills, blah, blah, blah. And it's fine. And I've got food in and I've not spent that much. And it's only, I think, when you add this up and you go through this process right now that you're like, oh, crap. And I'd not set myself any spending money for next week either. So I can't even say I've pulled next week's forward. Um and as a result of kind of going into the shop and not really paying attention to things, I ended up doing £39.96 on a stock up as well, which meant that my flexible spending jumped to £1,156.16. Some of that was, you know, I'll, I'll pay what I need to pay for the cat if that's 250 or 350 it's whatever it is. And some of it is me just completely taking my off the ball and getting overexcited and running away. There's a certain aspect of where as well where... Um, I've got lots of things that I'm worried about, really candidly speaking. You know, I'm really worried about my rental inspection tomorrow. I want it to go well because I want to stay in the house. Um, this is a house that I could see myself owning one day and um, I would like to be able to put myself in the position in two or three years time if I can stay that long. You know, could I potentially approach the landlord with an offer to purchase? I don't know. Um, I'm really, I've been in dread about my cat about Bowie um because I I've looked and I've seen and you go down the rabbit hole of well maybe it's this or maybe it's this and like best case scenario was worms worst case scenario it's like a it's a terminal illness um and conscious of my excess and my insurance limit and what's my account number and oh uh, crap I've got to sort my car out now so I can't drive until that gets sorted and replaced um I'm not a fan of cleaning at the best of times, so I've definitely been procrastinating and sorting and trying to do that. And then also as well, I've got this PGCE, so I've got a lot of worries. And when I get worried, the way I solve that, which is unhealthy, is to spend. So either on food um, or it will be on my personal spending money. Those are the two things. And as we can see, those are the two things that have gone over budget. I'm also going to bring in my business budget now as well for you, because that's where... Um, that's where some things have also gone on as well. Now, I pulled the £14 in from Vinted and that is because I have done a Timu order. Part of my personal spending and part of my teaching spending as well was on Timu for some tools and supplies. And um, I will be doing a Timu, Timu haul because I, I do love it as a website. I know it has its problems, but for me and my budget, um, it suits me right now. Um, but I did up, did end up spending £58.99 on um, various tools and supplies and what I call notions. Um, anyone who works with kind of fabric and crafting, your notions are things like your hooks and your eyes and your buttons and your zips and things. Um, quote unquote haberdashery, um, although I class notions as like your hard materials and haberdashery as things like your ribbons and your threads and things. Um so I spent fifty eight ninety nine on that. Obviously, as a business, I have not yet bought in fifty eight ninety nine. There is also two pound eighty eight on postage times two, and then eBay fees of one pound fifty nine. Now I do have an eBay um, balance which I'm not pulling forward. I'm set for weekly payouts, um, and that is because eBay has started to do. I had a couple of things that had been listing on e listed on eBay for like months that I was going to pull down um, this week actually, and they've sold. So. Um, I've listed them, that money, the 288 and the fees and the postage hasn't come from my account, it's come from my balance, but I'm going to list that down anyway. The And obviously that money, the 5899 has come from my personal spending. So it means that I'm going to be between the rollover, between the guarantor, the little bit of unknown about my cat next week in terms of I'm going to have to potentially pay the excess for his overall claim. Um... And as well, another cost cost of another vet's visit, um, as long as that's less than two fifty, um, and any other kind of changes to medication that he may need if he doesn't take to his thyroid medication very well, um, it means that I'm carrying at the minute a rollover of two hundred and eleven pounds over into this week. So the rollover is less, but I've not been able to put the um the 400 the 400 pound total so 200 pound for this week and then 200 pound for next week yet into my august savings um 
Credit Spring will come out fine um, as planned and then I won't be putting anything in for petrol and I shouldn't need to do anything for food. And if you see me do a reconciliation next week and I've put money in for food, you need to tell me off. Um, I give you permission to tell me off for that down in the comments below. So there's been a lot that's gone on and I'm not going to make any apologies for any of it um, because it's my budget and it's my money and it's my life. And I'm probably quite stubborn and a couple of you are going to be like, what? Why? Um, it is what it is. Here's what I can do. Um, I have, as I've mentioned, completely broken the back of the amount of cleaning and tidying and sorting that I need to do. So I'll just do the initial final clean tomorrow, run the hoover around, you know, wipe down the kitchen surfaces, etc. Hide all of the cat paraphernalia and um, that will then be ready for the landlord. And that then gives me today to not only film the videos that I need to get filmed, but also to get everything listed across Vinted and eBay because I now know exactly what I have to list, which I didn't before. I can also then start to get that money in so by next week all being well i should have replaced what i've paid out of my own budget which will give me 58.99 back in um plus any extra so pause for the train so what that will also mean is because i've initially started to stock up and i've also got i'll also know kind of by i think this weekend where I'm at in terms of batch cooking and what food I need to buy, I can then reduce what I need to do and what I need to purchase from the the larger student loan payment, which is the three thousand seven hundred ninety two. Um, <clears throat> and it may be that actually I'm in a position where I can potentially save the entire eighteen hundreds, which eighteen hundred pounds, which is the goal for this, out of that three seven nine two um immediately on the friday i don't know yet i just need to look at the numbers um but yes <laughs> definitely um an unusual week but there are things that i can do um and this is why i am now drawing a line under any spending there's no more spending that i need to do there are things that i can do to get some money back in that realistically with my time i've not been able to sort out there's been things that have cropped up which have been um exceptional and unplanned for that i have been able to cover with ease and although the numbers on like the household and the food and the spending is less than ideal um actually let's nip it in the bud now and like i've said draw a line under it and go forward and have that very much home focused clearing out time get my pgc written up and get some money in from the business and get that done and sorted there is plenty of room we're only in the first week of april there is plenty of room for me to get the 200 pounds for this week and next week saved and sorted it just might have to be at a different point in the month so that has been my April week one roundup released slightly early. My week is still going to end on the 8th of April, but financially I am calling it here and I'm going to crack on with the remaining things on my to-do list, which is my rental inspection and getting things posted and listed and sent off and sorted. So I'm going to now, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'm going to love you and leave you while I jump on and film yet another video and get this batch recording down to a T. Um, I hope you have a fantastic budgeting week wherever you are in the world and I will see you all very soon. Bye bye for now.